Thank you, Raging Grannies, for, for organizing this beautiful event. Um, I was just at the Parkland Conference, where you know we can be surrounded by people who are good-thinking people just like us. And there was just this extraordinary American environmental poet who's described as, who apparently is also a mineral engineering physicist. <laughs> but he's an extremely radical poet. And I think he said one of the most profound things in a long time that I've heard um, as a message to people like us who are working on issues, whether it's to do with peace, whether it's to do with protecting the environment, um, addressing trying to stop climate change, whether it's you know rights for Aboriginal women, violence. And his message is very simple. What he's saying is, he said, look in your heart and figure out what is the most pressing issue that you would really give your heart to, what you would actually lay down your life for. And then take a look at yourself and see what is that special skill that you have that you really enjoy doing. You know, it's going in marches, um, it's protesting, it's unfurling banners like Greenpeace is great at doing. Is it, are you a good writer? Write letters to the editor, publish articles. If you're an economist, you're a lawyer, you're a politician. And give your whole heart to it. And that's how we're going to change the planet. And I thought, that's it, it sums it up. And I think I have to thank the organizers today because I get feeling really down. And I'll tell you what's the most special thing for me when I feel down. I borrow my brother's dog and I go for a walk in the woods. So thank you, grannies, for letting me go to the woods in the sunshine with the most wonderful people in the city. Um, a couple of things specifically on the theme of today. We have to remember that the message of this uh, World March for Peace is follows from a declaration by um, the Nobel Prize winners for peace. And that message is very clear and it runs cross currents. You know, we have to make sure that we protect the planet environmentally and climate change. We have to make sure that everybody has equal rights. We have to make sure that we're fighting for peace and not war. And their declaration brings all of those together. Now, interestingly, and I want to share with you a couple of things that I've had the opportunity to be in Ottawa to appreciate, and, and I want to find ways to bring that to you and get you involved. One is a phenomenal event that I went to where there is an inter-party committee, and I think of senators and parliamentarians, that Romeo Dallaire, Senator Romeo Dallaire, who is, of course, one of our heroes of the planet. And they have issued this new um, guidelines for when countries, including Canada, should intervene. And what is really inspiring to me is, in addition to, of course, you know, peace issues and so forth, they've got four intervention points, and one is climate. So what that's showing to me is, you know, people of the caliber of Romeo Dallaire are dealing with these very serious issues, you know, of, of you know, people just being devastated, are also seeing that one of the worst threats uh, to security in the world is actually climate change, and we're going to be having massive people being dislocated. And so essentially in this country, we have, we have two choices. We either get our government to finally step up to the plate and join the other thinking countries of the world and, and commit to addressing climate change, or we open our borders to every environmental refugee, and there's going to be billions of them that are going to need to come to the country. So, you know, it's possible. And I want to try to, if we can get it on, you know, digital copy or whatever it is, I'm a Luddite. But so we can make it accessible to you on my website. We want, I want to make this document accessible to you because it's really profound in whatever area you're working in. Another key issue, and, I, and you know, I'm, very, I'm a pragmatic, pragmatist, not a theoretician. I want to get out there and actually work on real issues, and I want to get you engaged in those issues. We really need to be speaking out right now about our Prime Minister going to India to sell our nuclear yes. power. Yes. And that's nothing against India, right? I mean, it is a country that is trying to, you know, rise out of poverty and develop and so forth. But it is a country that has refused to sign on to the, the nuclear disarmament uh, treaty. There's absolutely no reason in the world that we should be selling our nuclear power. Uh, the nuclear plants are under terrorism threat. So that's one simple thing you can do. I encourage you to be writing to the Prime Minister and say, absolutely, do not spend one more cent of our taxpayers' money on promoting the sale of nuclear power to India. Yeah, exactly. The other one connected to this that I really, really would appreciate your support on is we need to get our country going to Copenhagen committing 
at the bare minimum to the science-based targets. Um, I had the privilege, I'm the environment critic for my party, and I sit on the Standing Committee on Environment. And I recommended that the British High Commissioner, um, Kerry, come and speak. And we also had the UN Ambassador to Canada, just not the UN, pardon me, the European Union Ambassador speak. And they were profound. And I've got a website that's called countdowncopenhagen.ca. We're going to be posting on there what they've said. And they're just clear and simple. I mean, they have committed to these science targets. It's reprehensible that we haven't. It's fair and just in the world. We're the ones who have created most of the damage thus far. And we need to help the developing nations come on board. So please, please, if you live in a part of the city that is not, don't bother phoning me, right? I'm right on there. But phone, you know, phone as many of the members of parliament as you can and send that message directly. So those are just two simple things that I would ask for your support in. And thank you so much uh, for all being here today.